There's a lot of discussion on the rise in divorce rates and breakups of long-term relationships, romantic relationships, but the discussion is about the, the temporariness of the relationship and how fragile trust and loyalty is has become these days because of the two-minute noodle culture. What I mean by the two-minute noodle culture is that people go from one person to another at a blink of an eye without taking time to heal from what they've been going through, from their childhood trauma, from the past relationships. What I mean by trauma is that your soul goes through um, um, how would I say, external pressures that the relationships around you have on you because everybody has an impact on the other person so the people you're surrounded with do have an impact on you and some of these impacts may be negative and very uh, destructive on your soul and then your soul goes through a traumatic experience and it's very hurtful it's extremely hurtful and you will want to get out of the traumatic experience as soon as possible and that is very very normal because your soul doesn't want to experience that hurt for a long time so what you tend to do is you seek for external solutions for your internal problems that's where the disconnect is because if this problem is internal you need to go within you to find the solution within you and not outside of you and that is the lasting solution because you're fixing the problem as opposed to looking past the problem i hope you understand what i'm getting at here so divorce rates and breakup rates increase because a lot of people have not taken time to heal the internal problems the internal traumas and seek love from from the heart space instead people seek love for other reasons to compensate for the void they have been subjected to after a breakup after a divorce just to fill in that space you know and that comes from a place of neediness a place of insecurity a place of sadness a place of anger revenge all the negative emotions you can name so these negative emotions are contrary to the positive emotion of love and where there is an abundance of negative emotions love cannot exist for a longer time you may have experienced love in the disguise of a, a positive emotion but it's quite temporary because your negative emotions take over this this little spark of positivity that you've assumed that has come into your life so you have to go into yourself address the issues and if you cannot understand how to do this you need to talk to people who can help you through this who experience this who have knowledge who can address the issue who can bring it out of you and address it and give you a proper solution a feasible solution a practical solution and then you go on to seeking love the moment you begin to seek love from the heart space what i mean is a uh, devoid of ego of anger from neediness you just be you know you just accept yourself you accept people around you for who they are you accept yourself for who you are you embrace the positives and the negatives of yourself and the people around you then you begin to see love in different forms love in its purest form because you've you've shed your ego you you have what i mean by ego is like for example you want an individual with a particular job a particular profession say you have um you think maybe or oh, if i get married to a doctor or a lawyer or a um engineer that the society will recognize you as a perfect couple or a productive or a an ideal couple so that stems from an ego perspective and not from a space of love 
it, it comes from a space of neediness as opposed to a sense of being. And the moment you shed all of those negative aspects, you will begin to experience love in its purest form. The moment you experience love from your heart space, your life will change for the better. Toodles. <laughs>